Welcome to Gravy Dot Live. Look at my good looking co host. My head's wild today. Lexi, can you see us and can you hear us? Hi, Ashley, Lexi. Ashley, thanks Lexi, for hanging in there. Everyone, thank you for coming in. It's yeah. going to be a great show today. Let's do our opening video because we love it. Because okay. I'm personally addicted to the video and I can watch it every day. <laughs> I know it's kind of vain. Is it not? So vain. I know. I'm crazy. <laughs> if I can't teach you one way, I'll teach you another. But I'm going right. to get the job done. That's bad. They did that. Literally 12.45 a.m. We're burning daylight. <laughs> you better start packing the hand. Hi. I love that part. He says you better start packing better the handgun. Start. And I'm right there. There's Mama Bear with her handgun. Yeah. I love that part. Yeah. <laughs> that was cool. So, so guys, here, this has been a crazy day. We got lots of snow outside, lots of fresh snow. Mm -hmm. um, Jameson Kapek, which is a professional uh, musher, dog musher, a good friend of uh, our family. Yeah. Um, he's actually on his way here. And he's going to be late to the show, but he's coming with his dogs. Um, he was supposed to be here quite a while ago, but he got hung up running a, a larger dog teams than, than he thought he was for the afternoon. So More he does this more. professionally in the winter. Mm -hmm. And in the mm -hmm. summertime, he's a head chef for over 25 years. One of our high-end restaurants yes, on the river. and that guy can cook. And he cooks uh, healthy, too. But he, man, oh, he, can, he cook. can cook. Amazing chef. You're going to meet him. And, and it's hard for me not to ask him like spice questions and cooking questions because this is a guy who's like run dogs and then cook an amazing like caribou yeah, stew in the yeah. snow over a fire, you know, just, yeah. Does he cook well blubber? I, I bet you he has. He probably could. He yeah. probably could make it taste it, just yeah. Let's throw that photo of him and his dog up there. This is a picture I took right off of his Facebook. And just so you can see him, you're going to meet him in a few minutes, but, um, this is cool. I want you to see who you're looking at. So that's Jameson. Wonderful oh, guy. He's been really close to us. for. He's been in our home right here yes. several times just cooking. We'll have him over yeah. just to do like uh, teach us how to cook something or we'll just have a like, some fun um, time cooking. Separate better, you know. Uh, just crazy stuff. And make yeah. a hollandaise sauce, which I could oh. not duplicate. Yeah, he but can he make a holiday sauce blindfolded. Yeah, no and joke. It's delicious. Stephanie, great to have you. Yeah, isn't that a yeah, great picture? I didn't I take that. The he has dog a photographer is beautiful. that took that. But you're going to meet some of these dogs. In fact, I wish I could take you on gravy. Here's what I'm probably going to do. As soon as he pulls up, I'm going to try going live on Periscope and I'm going to step away from this. We're, we're going to stay live here and I'm going to bring him in the door and bring him into this broadcast. But I'm probably going to go on live on Periscope for some people who want to be able to see them. And I'm going to invite all those people into this platform. Okay, so this is where we're going to hang out. And then can I put my at, iPad up so they can see your Periscope? Is that it? Or is that? Yeah, if that works, you might. Would that work? If maybe if you turned you it, it. I mean, maybe if, if you turned it, it down, like turned it down a little bit, like uh -huh. the, the, the light on it, maybe. Yeah. You know, so sometimes they're too bright. So turn the light down a little bit and. Yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. you could probably try. We'll figure something out. He's this is so going to be a really different neat. show. Yeah, it's such a neat experience to watch a dog measure. And then he has all these dogs on his truck. You pro. see this very common in Alaska. He's a pro. Yeah, you, you can you can cut that out there. I'll tell you, yeah. he is a pro and his dogs are amazing. Something we've learned, this is our 20th year. In fact, we're just finished 20 winters in Alaska. Yeah. And um, one of the things that we've crazy. learned about dog mushers is dogs, a dog team is just like the dog musher. They'll mm -hmm. take on their personality. So if you have a, a mean, cranky dog musher, you'll have a bunch of dogs that you don't want to be close to at all. They don't want to, they don't want to snuggle. They don't want you to pet them. They're just going to bite you and nap at your feet and you want to stay away from them. But if you have a really kind hearted dog musher and that's uh -huh. Jameson, yes. his dogs Very are all, much. are just love bunnies. They're just like, um, Oh yeah. Yeah. They are. They are all about running fast yes. and they get excited, they but, live for that. but you can go up and hug on them and pet them. And, and, you know, some of them are a little cautious because they're younger pups, but he has raised, I don't know how many generations of dogs, just yeah. amazing. He was telling me this is the first year he didn't 
um, breed the dogs and actually have pups. Oh, really? Because it's such a hard job and, and they typically do that every year. But um, he's got this team that he loves, mm -hmm. amazing team. And he's going to be pulling up, oh, probably in about 10 minutes. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be pretty exciting. And when we go to his house, it's out in the middle of nowhere. It's about 30 miles out of Fairbanks and um, has all these. So each dog has its own individual dog house. <laughs> And they just bark like crazy and you go out to them. They don't bite. They just want to jump on you and just go and it's love on true. you. <laughs> it's true. They can't wait to get going. When, they, so when you tie them up, when you strap them to that sled, mm -hmm. they get crazy. Yeah. Like almost psychotically excited. They're so much fun. Lexi. <laughs> There's so many people who would agree with that statement. They want a snug. She wants a snuggly dog. Yes. And you definitely want, want a wants, snuggly, snuggly dog. Jameson, if if you met him, you would want to hug him. Am I right? Yeah. And so and and it's like that way with his dogs. You'll want to hug him. But the dog, but they're not really calm and snuggly, are they? I mean, not normally. Not, but these I are all of yeah. Well, actually, when we he volunteers this time when we have um a, a winter youth camp and he brings his dogs out and takes the youth out on a dog sled ride and it it's is the neatest so experience. Much fun. Yeah. Just being out in the middle, it is you so know, much just fun. the beautiful white yeah. snow and these dogs pulling you and they're so happy and just, they thrive to run. And when they come back and we switch out the youth, you know, the dogs do sit there just really calm and the youth pet them and the kids just love on the dogs and they just let them. Oh yeah, just, it is. It is, so it, it is a lot of fun. In fact, cool. while we're waiting on him, we got a few minutes. Oh, wow. Thank you so much for your Thank contribution, you, Debbie, Debbie. You're Debbie. awesome. And with that, let's play a video. In fact, let's go to the one that says dog mushing. It's it's all kind of rough footage, iPhone and, and old school, like iPhone 4 footage and 5. It's pretty old stuff. But it happens to be Jameson and his dogs, him helping us at camp, uh, different things. Um, uh, yeah, this one right here. And so, guys, and, and we can turn keep the volume down on it. And um, so you guys can hear us. Okay, and we'll just kind of talk over it. Uh, these are his dogs. Some of these shots, the still shots my daughter took, and then the rest of the video we took over the last few Is years. That you? No, that's actually, do you guys know Pam La 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 from Periscope? Oh. She's actually in this video, and yeah. we took them on a run and got some footage. So she's actually going to be taking off here in a moment from Dallas, Texas. You guys know her, Pam La 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 on a periscope she's quite the chef and yes. um in fact she jameson made her in her family caribou stew at his house yeah. and these are shots like this is a shot i took on the lake and i hope you guys are enjoying this can everybody yeah, see it okay some of this footage is a little rough i'm sorry and it and it's i know it's a little choppy there's mama bear and um we were out checking on the dogs and it's just so much fun. And you can see there's a team of just three dogs pulling a guy. You can run as little as two dogs. If you're just on skis, you can run one dog. I forget what it's called. Did he just pull up? Oh, wow. All right. So he just pulled up with his dogs. I'm going to let you guys watch this for a minute. And um, is he pulling up right now? Oh, guys, this is crazy. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to um, fire this bad boy up and I'm going to see if I can't get out there right now real quick. All right. So keep this going and we're going to, we're going to make this work guys. Go ahead and invite some people in. Um, please share. And this is going to be too much fun. All right. Really all right. All right. Yeah. This is, <laughs> this is <laughs> crazy. I got to put on my gloves here it is and I got to put on my hat. Experience. When Ron and I lived in California, we would motorcycle ride a lot. And we loved it because you're just out in the open air. And you just are right there with everything, you know, with the mountains. The um, after this, you can show the quest. You and that, the quest. that's what it's like when you dog mush. It, you're just out it in is. the beautiful be open air with these dogs. And it is just the neatest experience. If you ever have an opportunity to come to Alaska or go anywhere where they have dog mushers. I really encourage you to do so. They, they are happy dogs. They are so happy. I mean, you no need to fear, no need to be afraid. 
and they love to run while Jameson is setting them up and putting, um, you know, all the gear on his dogs. They are just like, barking and just ready to go. And once they go, once he says, okay, huh, or whatever, he, whatever language he uses, they just take off and just, just enjoy running it. That's what they were made for. It's just, it's their breed and they know what they're supposed to do and they do it. So it's really awesome. Hi. Hey, Sassy Nick. Good to see you, girl. It is so neat for all of you to join in. It's going to be awesome to see. So I think he's going to, um, I'm watching my Periscope because I'm going to get on Periscope and then point my iPad <laughs> at the uh, camera so you can see what Papa Bear is doing. And again, if invite your followers in. It's going to be an awesome time, awesome experience with Jameson. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Probably have to. Stephanie, are you on both platforms? I don't know what, okay. this is crazy. I didn't plan it this way. I don't know if this, do okay, you can you do. see it all? So this is a typical rig and these are typically homemade up mm -hmm. here in Alaska. And there's a small compartment and the reason they're small, and they oh usually have eight of them for heat Thanks and for, for comfort. But believe it or not, there because there's such behind a small us. compartment, the, 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 the uh, body heat that the dog produces will Hi, keep them warm inside come on here. In. And they also have I'm showing our viewers. Come the on in and sit down. They actually stay pretty warm in actually. here. Hi, guys. How you doing? So I'll show you some Sorry, guys. <laughs> right now they're just being kind of cautious and they're hanging out. But this is this is really cool. So he's going to grab a dog or two oh, and bring him in the house. And so he's trying to decide which ones to do because these are outside dogs. These are true you can come Alaskan on in and sit down. Plus, the Ron's coming. Oh, Ron's coming. And he said you can that they're ready, ready for more. It's really hard to get these dogs. Is it going to be okay? Hi, buddy. Be like, yeah. Okay, check this out. Yeah. Hi, what's your name? Okay. Hi. Are you, are you yeah. going to be coming in the house? Can you see okay, you guys? Yeah. You so, my husband's talking to the dogs, talking to the dogs. And Jameson is going to bring a couple dogs in the house. He doesn't race them. So, just hold on, okay? Thank you for working with us. As you know, life just doesn't uh, go always the way we plan. Can you see it? He doesn't race him professionally, but what he does is um, hire for rides. So you and your family. That's how he carries the dogs. Uh, uh, could schedule a day, and it could be one hour. I mean, you'll do all the way from one hour to all day, right? We do I mean, two hours, three hours, and overnight tours. You still do the saying? overnight tours? <laughs> Those, I want to do one someday. Someday I'm doing an overnight tour with him. Shasta. Because that's got to be the oh. best experience in the world. It's amazing. Really and you're great wool. Wow. You have a fire and there's dogs rolled really? up around you. Oh my goodness, that's the Clarence. Guys, you <laughs> yeah. want to do that? Isn't that yeah. awesome? Yeah, uh, it seems a little more stable now. I've been having problems with that. This Can you all hear okay? Look at those big blue eyes. You've got a husky. I would love a dog. Do you really so love Lexi? So do, is that your snuggle, well, we'll just take snuggle a chance, doggy? I, guess. I mean, we're stick and do, you know. Forest. Oh, I love yeah, it. We'll Give him a chance to be on. Whatever you want, can't so we're hear gonna perfectly. Try this. We're gonna yeah, bring them in so we can get you. Jits, um, it doesn't matter. He's coming whatever, in in just would be a moment. A good lap dog, I guess, so you can get him in the camera. Mm -hmm. and maybe a dog that would let you kind of hold him. Right. All right, so here we go. We're gonna get a dog. Yeah, wouldn't you love to do that? I'm telling you, I've been with him mushing. It's the most surreal thing on the planet. And I, and uh, oh, is he really? <laughs> I don't know. Does he get into things? I haven't done that yet. Right. But, but I think dogs dogs are in that same realm. Very cute and very but, naughty. Know, I would so love a dog. I'm at the age where so I amazing. want a dog. You know, our kids are grown up. Night, and you just see the full moon. Um, and all you hear is. That's a little more flexible. From their feet hitting the snow. It's really. Oh, yeah, it's really, really amazing. Okay, so I think okay, here we go. I'm going to try to bring you. Oh, I want one so bad. Got you. thing is, we just travel a lot. And so it's kind of hard. Sometimes the fact we're going to Florida. Okay. I just call them short for attitude. Short for attitude. Yeah. Okay. For about three okay, weeks. Yeah, no, uh, April. <laughs> okay, we're going to try attitude. Okay. You're in. Let's go, huh? I know. It's so awesome. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Stephanie, same here. Very happy dog. I, um, 
if we didn't travel, we definitely would have a dog. Never Our kids always house. wanted dogs, and not but we were always so is, busy. Not nearly is when they were younger. small as one might think. I mean, this is a good sized dog. These are <laughs> your dogs are actually fairly large. Uh oh. Sure. Okay, here he is. There's the dog. He's about sixty pounds. Wow. Yeah, your thing. Pee on the tree, buddy. Yeah. About sixty pound dog. What we could wow. Do is more, we could drop them all right here in Duck Chains. Yeah, do you want to do that to show everybody? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. We can bring do one in. Sure. And they, they'd here rather be running around anyway, that's probably. Cool, right? Yeah, yeah, that's go yeah, for we it. Can bring one in. We have all these trees Let's here, so it. you could do whatever you want. So I'll show you Kinda what we do getting them have. focused. Am I supposed to be the other way? No, no, I'm oh. I'm, I'm at you. Oh, so okay. we're good. I so, flipped it. So if you're taking your dog team mm -hmm. um, on a long trip, you can drop your dog. And to do that, I'm just gonna get these drop chains here and put them around your truck. Good. Look at that. I already have them all hooked up. Yeah. That's how he holds the dogs while he's getting them ready to yeah. um, and this is connect them to the dog team. It is. It's very warm. A little too warm, huh? I did all my tours today with no gloves. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, look, buddy, you're right back here. You're good to go, huh? Hi. Are you ready? Do you want to come in? They're beautiful dogs. They are beautiful dogs. Very healthy. They can actually hang out here if that's Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just need to go in where the live feed is in there. Okay, there. Coming in. Just hang on. Thank you for working with us. <sighs> okay. Okay. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Yeah. This is cool. So to drop some cool. dogs, you would just kind of work with them a little bit. Some are shy. Like this is the shyest one I have. Right here. This is that's the shyest dog he has. Come on. You're just going to grab their collar. You kind of let them jump into your arms. <laughs> and then you can you uh, just kind of let them jump. See how calm they are? They're probably tired too from tomorrow. working all day. Right. <laughs> or Koyuk, who's a shy dog. This is Koyuk. Pulling the sleigh all day. Hi, Koyuk. How you doing? <laughs> Lexi, I can't even handle oh, wow. it. I know this it's so this. cool. Lexi, you got to come up yeah, here. You won't chew my plow lines. We'll okay, introduce you to Jameson. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're gonna they're dogs. gonna water everything really good. So right. That's good. That's okay. No, that's perfect. This is one of my best dogs I've ever had. Yeah, uh, Jackie. This is his here. best dog. He says Garnet. 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 Yep. He's a at you's brother. That's Atu's brother. Atu, yeah, that's Atu. Atu. That's Garnet. Wow. Brother, oh, still bleeding. Hey, buddy. How <laughs> yeah, you doing? He's a pretty cool dog. How you doing? And then, yeah. And then his sibling is Hi. Kiowa. Hi there. Kiowa is his sibling Hi. that Jameson's getting them down. And I was going to say this is really good weather for the dogs, but actually it's um, kind of warm from them for the dogs. They like the weather cold. Below yeah, zero, good, 20 below good. is probably really yeah, good. So it's good it's weather like, for the musher when it's 20 yeah, above <laughs> zero. But for the dogs, okay. they can overheat yeah, easily. Good yeah, you take good care of them, so. yeah, that's really good. What's so the temp? Okay. What's the temp? Like 23? A whole bunch more. Mm -hmm. It's about 29 above. Oh, my goodness. That is warm for okay. this time of year. A week ago, it was 30 degrees below zero. And then this week, it's 26 above right now in North Pole. This is Mira, one of our main leaders. This is a lead dog? One of them, yeah. And it's not really about size. So one of the lead dogs. It's just attitude, isn't it? It's all about the mental attitude. The mental attitude, guys. It's not about your size. Some of the best leaders are a smaller dog, and they lead bigger dogs. Did you hear that? It's not about the size. It's about the mental attitude. That applies to all of us, huh? Your pee is clear, too. People are responding. Good. You're getting hydrated. Yeah, everybody Check your color. Those waggy tails. Those fluffy dogs. Oops. He's in the restroom. Okay. That's natural. <laughs> Look at that. This is a Maya. Maya? A Maya? Yeah. Aww. A I know. Player, I wish we could just all go out there and play with them. <laughs> Hi. Thanks for joining. Yeah. 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 Wow. And then, you know, you wouldn't believe how big some of these sled dogs can get. This guy is an 80 pounds. So, again, Jameson's Are getting his dogs. He's just him. attaching them to the and truck, and then he's going to bring a couple inside. 
And they're going to talk to Jameson. He's actually, he's a three-year-old, but he's yeah. really calm. Okay. A sure. three-year-old okay, right there. He's my second choice. Okay, he's your second choice. But they've never been in the house. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they've never be been in a house. Time, huh? Gonna go in the house, yeah. And his brother. Um, so sure. leading to see how they respond. <laughs> so that was stellar. Yeah. Stellar. Isn't that a cool yeah. name? Stellar. True. True is coming out now. True. true. Right there. Hi, True. There's True. Look at our yard. We awesome got dogs names. In the yard now. And listen yeah. how nice and quiet they are. They're very well trained. Um, if, if, if they heard some yeah. dogs yelping, they would jump, join the choir. Huh? Oh, yes. It's fun getting them going, but we'll just keep it quiet for so now. You can see how you can drop your dog team. Yeah. With your truck. <laughs> and let them be and just park on the side so of the road. he's just kind of letting just them hang outside while he brings okay. a couple of the dogs well, in. Grab They'll the be dog heading choice, in. We'll start walking in. And I'm going to go get in position. You'll be right so behind me. To choose from. Pick whoever you want, um, and you can always switch, yeah, them can switch them out. Switch them out. Yep, great. Switch them out. I'm going to try add to Okay. Yeah. Guys, I'm going to start heading yeah. out here. All right, buddy. You just hang out under the truck, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Probably enjoying resting and hanging out. We have lots of snow outside. Lots of snow for this area. We got about six inches overnight. Well, a couple nights ago, anyways. So Papa Bear's coming back. All right, guys. We're going in. And there's Jameson. Right, so I'm going to shut down this broadcast. In just Dogs a couple are coming minutes. in. <laughs> I'll wait till we get inside. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Hey, you guys. I'm going to close yeah, this. You're watching, huh? Here we go. Here I'm we gonna go. Get over, out of the way. It's going to be hot yeah. here for him. Oh, wow. So we're oh. fogging up. Maybe, maybe you can hold them. This okay, guys. Too. I'm going to shut down. Join me. He's really gravy. cool. Gravy.live. This... That's gravy.live. We're going to interview the dogs. Got to check it out. Use Chrome on your computer or mm -hmm. use Safari on your mobile device. See you there. Aww. Interview the dogs. <laughs> yep. Yes. I wonder oh how much they're going to say. <laughs> I'm going to get changed Beautiful. if that's okay. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I went right from tours to a quick. Yeah. Right and right to no, and the highway is really icy. Yeah. There, so I oh yeah. 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 Oh yeah, guys. Sorry about that. I hope this isn't uh, uh, too unprofessional <laughs> it's definitely a different gravy that we've done that's for sure hi, you say hi. and uh <laughs> but we've got some really cool guests here this is so much fun hi. Come here. Come here. Hi. Hi, come on. Come here. Oh, too oh yeah look at this yeah we could uh there we yeah go. we can get it down a little bit yep go ahead go whatever you need all right come here Come here, come here, come here, come here. All right, so we've got some dogs right here in the house, guys. I hope you're, thank you so much for your patience. I needed to go out there and do a little live promo on Periscope. And, um, <laughs> you know, we prepared so hard for this, Lexi, and then things <laughs> don't always go according to plan. The weather and his schedule and everything changed up. But come over here. Come on over here. Let's come over here. Come over here, right up here, right up here. Okay, come here, come here, come here. Look at this. So I want you to see. Come on up here. There, there you we go. go. There we say go. Hi to everybody. I want you to say hello. Oh, I want daddy. you to say hello. <laughs> look at this, Liggy right here. We got. Look at this guy right here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, you like that? <laughs> look at that. This is so cool. So this is Jameson and. He's our pro musher, so he's going to answer your questions. Guys, get your questions ready. And uh, also, I'm totally cool with bringing some of you in if you want to talk to him. If, if you're really into the dogs, if you're really into mushing, or you're really fascinated by it, you don't get this every day. I'm telling you, you don't get this every day. And Lexi, this should go down in the books for the most interesting gravy.live. <laughs> <laughs> the most interesting, wouldn't you think so? <laughs> this is your favorite show ever. <laughs> keep that in mind. I'm going to keep a dog in my lap at all times just to make it your interesting, most interesting show ever. Yeah. Oh, wow. So I had to get my glasses defogged because I couldn't see anything out there. Oh, he's just excited. Yeah. Look at the size of that. He's got a dog out there that's 80 pounds. I forgot how big his... It, 
about 60 pounds, this dog right here. You're just loving it, huh? All right, Keely's yeah, having too much fun. Like, See if you can camera. get him over here in the camera, though. Yeah. Come on over here, buddy. Come over here. Come over here. Come over here. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Let's come on up. Come on up. Come on up. You want to come up? All right. We're going to try not to wreck all the camera stuff. Oh, there look at this is. guy. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Who's that dog? Who's that dog right there? Who's that right there? Look. Whoa. Whoa. Look at that right there. Oh, my oh, goodness, guys. Beautiful. Okay. Is that You're beautiful? I told you we were going to have. Yeah, he is so cute. He's 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 just awesome. He's not been indoors before. So Jameson said these dogs haven't been inside. So when he retires a dog, he'll make a house dog out of it. But you don't bring your dogs in normally because it kind of changes their mentality. And you want to keep them as a working team. And they prefer to be outside. They don't like the heat of the house. So he probably won't be able to leave the dog in here too long. Yeah, he's for never being in the house. He's doing better than most of yeah. us would do if we've never been in the house. So he's doing pretty good. And uh, so, yeah, you're doing good. You're doing good. Doing good. Yeah. We might even have to move. <laughs> we might have to move the camera down even a yeah. tad more. We'll just move this a little bit and just point it down. If it cuts my head off, that's okay. Go. Look at this. Oh, look at that guy. Look at, is that a doggy? Is that a doggy up there? Yeah. <laughs> They're, they're so soft. Definitely smell like a working dog. These dogs yeah. have been running. They've been sweating. They've been, um, I'm going to move it back up a little bit now so I can, and, and so they're just, they're just going at it. I mean, uh, this is just so much fun. So guys, this is not our normal gravy show. I want to thank you all for being there and thanks for coming in. TJ, thanks for being here. I want to give an announcement too. I just did some scheduling last night. We're going to have our member show only shows start next week and we're going to have regular member only shows. So for those of you that are members already, we've got some video that we want to show you that nobody else has seen ever. It's for your eyes only. And so it's going to be really cool stuff we're editing and working on, which is really cool. We also have several things that we're going to be doing today. We're going to do some giveaways and we're going to test some of the giveaways. So one of the things we want to give away is Vermont meats. So we're going to be testing some spicy Italian uh, sausages and whatnot. So I've got several flavors that Gravy has sent me, and we're going to test out this company. We tried a few last week. Cody and I really liked them, but I'm going to let the chef try a few here. So it's going to be cool. So, so stick around because we're going to spin the wheel and give some of those away. And we have a few polls for you and some more video. Did you show more video while I was out there? Or did she go? She went live. Were, were they able to see the Periscope thing going on? It worked? Yep. It worked. So you guys, you, you saw what's going on here. It's just crazy. It's going to be crazy. And if you've been on my gravy show and you won something, anything at all, you won one of the one of the the spinning wheel if you won something then then say uh like type in there i won you know if you've won anything so everybody can get an idea how many people have won in here just say i won yeah there we go jackie girl i won i won three times <laughs> yeah mama k i don't know what's going on with you but you got some favor going on right there you won the earrings and books you won two. That is awesome. You actually won twice. I'm a loser. <laughs> no, you're not, man. You're a winner. We got to get you winning. You stick around. It's it's all a numbers game. You're going to win as long as Mama K isn't in the house because she apparently keeps winning everything. You're still waiting. I'm going to check on Karis and we'll find out what the holdup is. I don't know what's going on, but she does have your address. We'll find out what the holdup is. So this is a lot of fun. Thank you, babe, for for making that happen. Yeah, so they, they were seeing you guys. Yeah, and I'm gonna um, switch out the Jameson. This this is cool. It's real hot. The dogs get you really high energy. I don't know if you noticed that. If you guys were here, you would be all giggly, and it's <laughs> yeah. you go out in the yard and you just want to lay in the snow and 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 hug them all. And Aww. he came right up here and stuck his face like he was looking in the screen and gave everybody a beautiful, like, Aww. like portrait shot. I hope you guys are getting screenshots on your computer because I'm going to watch the replay and get some photos out of this because this is this is good stuff. 
So, Lexi, here's some great promo screenshots from this show for Gravy.Live. You'll bring in all kinds of dog people. All right? That's cool. And how can you not love these? You took screenshot? Great, Ashley. That's awesome. Well, anytime you can try to grab him and come up here and sit and get yeah, into the screen. Oh, if I you can. Gonna, it's supposed to be a lap dog. Yeah. Well, sure. Sure. I'm if you can. I actually just picked him up and put him on my yeah. leg. Yeah, and he was doing pretty good. Come here, baby. Yeah, he's just real excited. Jesus oh, look at that. Look at that. So, guys, real quick, this is Jameson. So, everybody say hello to Jameson. Now, these are people that are live with us from different parts of the country, and they're actually commenting. So, it's a live interactive feed. And uh, real quick, Jameson, tell them what you do in the wintertime and what you do in the summer, and kind of just give them the quick, the quick over. Well, obviously, I run sled dogs. <laughs> <laughs> there goes that he's one. He's pulling me already. Um, yeah, I give tours. Um, where should I look? Just right here. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I give tours um, out of my house usually. it's I have a homestead at the end of a road in Esther. And we have 28 acres there. And we have trails all around the property. And also the trails go out to the fire plug, which goes into the Minto Flats. And, yeah, it's a big, awesome it's open really area amazing. in Alaska. It's really an amazing place. So I can get really far by the trail systems. Um, and it's more fun by dog team. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. And no doubt. The cool thing is that, you know, I have people from around the world come to my house and at any temperature, we pretty much are cut off as 40 below for tours. Um, because people are here in such a short time frame that they really don't care about the temperature. They want a sl sled dog ride because <laughs> they may never come back to Alaska. Yeah, that's uh, true. So huh? they, they want to get that out there yeah as they say their bucket list that kind of thing oh yeah yeah and we dress them head to toe yeah um and i have i brought some gear to show you how we actually dress people in the cold that is awesome Prick the uh, temperature pole yeah and also and, um it's very unseasonably warm right now this time of year in alaska uh, for some reason <laughs> which it which is really challenging is for the sled dog yeah it really is Come here, i guess if you want to get in my lap so I this is a two gonna try he's so, like wow i'm not used to this so this is look at, <laughs> he's a big lap dog now right now he is look at that good thing he loves me oh my goodness um, such a good temperament yes so i bred him and along with i have 23 sled dogs and i bred 14 of them in my yard and they either have this most of them have the same mom i would say um, big happy family and some different dads <clears throat> and the other part of my bloodline is from Norway, so it's kind of cool. He is beautiful. He <laughs> really is. I did a rod, which has gotten a lot of fanfare, and then we have sure the Yukon Quest that I missed. It was last week, right? Just took off, right? It did. Didn't yeah. it? Yeah. We have a winner for that already. It's so we got 10 people that voted already, and right now it's 50-50, so I need someone else to vote. Come on. Is it is it zero degrees, or is it about 20 you know that those are the other ones didn't get any votes but come on are there uh any more votes to break the tie here lexi did you vote you can vote you can vote i'm telling you you get whoa bam we just got another couple votes looky there <laughs> okay well do you want to give the answer is everyone done voting <laughs> is everybody done voting he's going to give you the answer you voted good lexi Oh, thanks. Thank you, Maria, for becoming a member. Look at this right here. All right, go ahead and give them an answer. Well, so it might be surprising to some, but actually the best time to run sled dogs is 20 below to 30 below zero. <laughs> 20 to 30 below zero. Yeah. I remember going in years ago, flew into Fort Yukon. It was 51 below zero. Wow. And a local native guy who ran dogs at the time came up to me and goes, hey, Want to go on a ride? It was 51 below zero. I go, what are you crazy? He goes, oh, the dogs love, love it, it when it's this cold. Yeah. Because right. they don't they don't sweat. Right. They just run. That's right. And they and I'm like 51 below zero. And you and you're wow. going out into the in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Unless but they love it. it. Yeah, they do. They love it. They can't they can't it. sweat like we can, which is neat. They can only let out heat, obviously, through their mouths when they pan. Oh, okay. You can see all the steam coming off of their tongues. Their, wow. their breath and then they can actually let out heat through the bottom of their feet which is really neat so so their mouth and the bottom of their feet they, did you guys know that i didn't know that they did a study on iditarod about dogs feet and because there's a saying in the north no foot no dog <laughs> you know if you don't have oh, really good feet, is that why they put booties on them in really cold weather 
to well, kind of help. Booties aren't for cold; they're for abrasion, more or less. So they're not conditions. ice, right? It's, it's not going to keep the dog's feet warm at all. It's for abrasion, like they're traveling many miles over tough conditions. Right. So, you, so that's why there's no foot, no dog. If you don't take care right. of your feet, your dog's right. feet, you're not going to really go that far. Do you ever it's run the booties on yours, mm -hmm. dogs? I bring booties with me, and there's a couple of dogs that I will booty on longer runs for certain reasons. Okay, yeah. it's a whole different term of booty, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay, so Especially in the dog world, the booty is actually little, little boots. Yeah, <laughs> they look it's like slippers. It's a poly kind of. nylon little one piece that you can velcro <laughs> around their, their wrist. They're kind of like those slippers they give you on an airplane. <laughs> right. Yeah. Exactly. So. <laughs> they kind of go over your shoes or something. Yeah, they do. <laughs> yeah, they're really cool. Oh, that is so awesome. Oh, uh, so Mama Bear's having fun. He might go for that food. He did, yeah, that's all right. Okay. You look at that. Look at that. They're really good dogs. So Do they did a study on on Iditarod about their feet, and they said that their feet never got below thirty three degrees, no matter what. That's the way God made them. It's pretty amazing. Wow. Did you so their hear feet, that? Guys? Their feet never froze. Um, um, and the only time that I've seen feet could freeze, obviously, if you step in water when it's that cold, and they can freeze. You know, with Right, the water conditions. Right. But as far as just running, they let out so much heat through their feet while they run, is that they don't freeze. Is there dip? Whoa! Yeah, that's okay. It's all right. It's all right. We're having some lighting issues. The dog's getting a little fun here. Come on, boo. He's exploring the house. He's exploring the house now. We almost lost the light. Good, good catch, y'all. Look at this. Yeah. Are you having fun? Yeah. Are you having fun? Look at this. Are you a lap dog? Guys, is this the greatest? Are you a lap dog? Stephanie, are you, Stephanie wishes she was here. I can just sense it that you okay, wish you were here, Stephanie. We're gonna switch yeah, out Steph. a couple dogs. Just so you're in so you're in heaven right now, huh? So when you come up dogs. here, if you come in the winter, we'll hook you up with Jameson for a ride. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this great? And how old is this dog? So Atu here is a five-year-old. And I bred him. Um so I was the first person he saw when he opened his eyes, that kind of thing. You know, so I've wow. always had him. And he'll be six March 21st. So wow. He's almost a six-year-old, yeah, which is considered a young dog for doing what we do with the work. Wow. Work you getting hot, buddy. Yeah. What if I switched him out with another dog? You want to go ahead and switch him out? Go ahead. And I'll get a different size dog and a dog okay. with floppy ears. You can just see different what, okay. they, what they look like yeah. different. They're similar, but they're different in personality and color. Sometimes they want to be outside. Yeah, they do. They do. They, this is this is odd for them. They live uh, outside. They're like weird. You brought us in the house. <laughs> they love it. Now I've had people ask me this question uh, when I've done periscoping with with these dogs and done other live feeds, guys. And people say they'll make comments about it being torturous to the dog. I'm going to tell you what's torturous to these animals is locking them up and not letting them run in cold weather. God designed them to run in cold weather. They love it. That's how it's it's like instinctive to them. They want to. And when when you see them getting hooked up to the sleigh, when they're getting all ready to for the sled and the excitement of that, you you'll sense, I mean, you have to kind of be there. And then you start going, oh my goodness. Um, yeah, does he have a website? I'll ask him when he gets back how you can get a hold of him. I don't know if he has a website. I, I'll we'll find out here, but I'm telling you, these animals absolutely love to go in cold, cold weather. They love, I mean, when you and I would maybe want to stay in and it's 40 below, they're barking saying, Take me for a ride, let's run, let's run, let's run. And I'm and I'm 260 pounds, and I got on, and he had about eight dogs pulling me with him steering. So he was pulling all of our these dogs were pulling all of our weight, and he had young dogs. Some of them were almost like pups; they were pretty young, and I couldn't believe the hills that he was. Those dogs were dragging me up, just running up these hills in deep snow, breaking the snow. The front three dogs you couldn't see them except their tails kicking up. The snow was so deep. They were just making a lane, and then the rest of the dogs just kept going and plowing. The powerhouse behind them is amazing. Oh, look at this guy right here. This is so cool. All right, so let's do this poll real quick. So, okay, so what is the average lifespan of an Alaskan husky, so guys? Real quick, don't stellar. he's stellar. Don't tell them the answer to this because they're guessing. They're right now. They're they're doing a he poll so on what is the average lifespan of Alaskan husky. Guys, go ahead and get in there and vote. Whoa, hi there, buddy. He's a big Oh, he is big. Look at this dog. 
Oh yeah. Hi. 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 How are you, buddy? How are you guys? Go ahead and vote. We got 12 votes already. And so a lot of you are saying 15 years. Um, a few are saying 20 years. And we got uh 20% saying 10 years old. And um 26% now. Uh, 46% on the 15. Any other votes? We got 15 of you voting. That's awesome. Yeah, forever is not an option, Lexi. Wouldn't that be nice? She's saying, forever. isn't forever an option? Only wish. Yes. Only wish, yeah. yeah. I remember when you lost one of your, you know, it's it's like a family member. It's true. Two, was it two years ago, right? Yeah. It was a, your lead dog. That's right. Yeah. I remember that. I posted wow. it. It, like, wow. moved my heart yeah. because this dog was amazing. Yeah. yeah what exactly. was her name? Well, I lost o Otello. Otello. Um, and he was from Norway. Oh, the boy. Okay. And uh, I basically, um, I bred him as many times as I could to get puppies from that bloodline. They're like horses. You want to breed good bloodlines, I guess. Okay. So let's go ahead and close the poll. And guys, you pretty much nailed it because it's about 15 years, right. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. You're about 15 years old. Yeah. That's an average. And so, and that's. Our our years, so dog dog years would be, I guess, you know, older than that. Yeah. But um, this guy, he's he's doing good. Yeah. You know, he's never been in the house before. Is, is that First you? time in the house. He's growling at himself. He's growling. Oh. Like, well, it's because he sees himself. That's you, Stella. Oh. You've never seen yourself. Before. What's that? Who's oh, that? Oh, look at those eyes. Oh, that's so cool. That is so amazing. Yeah, he's a three-year-old, so he's very young. Guys, did you see that? He's growling at himself. <laughs> I've never seen him do that before. Yeah. Have you? Like maybe in a Who mirror? Is that, or... Who is that? Hey. They're over definitely here. not pets. Over here. Yeah. Yeah, look over here. They're workhorses. They are they're they just love to run, don't they're, they? They're bred for this, actually. Yeah. I was telling them while you were getting the dog, one of the – the misnomers of, of, you know, it's not torturing them by hooking them up to a sleigh. Oh, no. It's torturing them by not. Right. Yeah. They want to run. They um, want to run. When you, Even if you go on a 30 mile run, they'll be standing up screaming to go when you stop. You're tired and they're not. <laughs> well, <You're... laughs> I, I feel like I have the energy too. But, yeah. <laughs> but yes, I see what you mean. I think 30 miles I would be They could exhausted. probably outwork me for sure. <laughs> Yeah. Come over here, buddy. They're pretty amazing. Come, come over here. Just spin your chair around. See if you can get him to look in that at himself again. What do you think, Stellar? Who's that? Oh, who's that right there? So he's 80 pounds. Yeah. I mean, this is a big sled he, dog. He is really big. Because some of them are down to like 40, 50 pounds. Some of the smaller huskies. Am I right? Or So the average um, weight of Iditarod dogs are 35 to 65 pounds, respectively. Um, you know, 50 pound dogs are pretty, pretty common on the race. So you won't see dogs this big often. They are there, but often they're, these are overgrown big puppies. <laughs> we should have had, I don't know what you snack them with. I didn't even think of that. Yeah. You know, like if you do some sort, do you do like regular, do. the kind of stuff that most people do for their dogs, like the dog biscuits, or do you have a special? He likes best Oh, oh, look he's, at that. he's bonding. He's bonding with him. He's like, it's okay Do the dogs stay him. outside all year round? That's what they're asking. He's oh, absolutely. Yeah, they have um, <laughs> dog houses with with straw. So the colder it gets, the more their straw will look like a nest in their house. So I'll just stuff straw in there. And, oh, um, wow. They have poles and swivels and chains that they can't get tangled. So they can actually run around their houses I and not get tangled and get exercise in their dog yard. Yeah. So that's kind of cool. You so. you don't you kind of like hugging. Look, you're putting right up there playing with my beard. Yeah. It's okay, baby. Oh yeah. Yeah. So you can see the, the floppy ears <laughs> compared to Atu who had pointy ears. Oh, that's true, huh? So genetics yeah. is a big thing. DNA. So this is your largest dog, right? Oh, yes. This is definitely my largest boy. What do they do in the summer months? How do you train them in the summer? So summer for me is their time off. Um, okay. Some people do take their sled dogs to Skagway or Juneau, clip which um, they, they you know, yeah. they have a glacier there, and they helicopter them up to the glacier, and you can get a dog sled uh -huh. ride with, with a kind of picture like an oversized golf cart. <laughs> okay. With um, If it's eight people. But for me, it's their time off. For me, I, I don't run my dogs in the summer. Now, last fall, I was coming up the highway, and I jumped out of the truck just to get this little tiny clip because this is going to answer what I just shared. And so go ahead and show it. 
And this is pretty common for yeah. somebody training them in the summer or fall time Do you watch that to use a four wheeler. Want to see some dogs? Oh, yeah, look at that. That's before snow conditions. Before the snow. And so this team is pulling the musher on an ATV. And you can see he's even got a little area in the back for his extra sure. you know, place to, to change dogs Absolutely. out. Absolutely, He's got a little dog. So that's pretty common, right? You see yeah. that? That's kind of common. I do that as well. And the reason we use ATVs is because obviously it's not safe enough to use anything else because of the brakes. They have so much pulling power that, you know, the ATVs have brakes and also engines that you can go up the hills if their dogs aren't conditioned with the summer months. Okay. Yeah. So you can help them up the hills a little bit with the engine until they get conditioned. Because they're already trained. Yeah. They already know what they're doing. They're already trained. It's just conditioning. Right, right. they're athletes. So. And it, and it's really cool because all I hear, like when that team went by, all I hear is pretty much a little bit of running, but you just hear the wheels. Um, of, right. of, you know, you just hear the ATV going by. Yeah, it's kind of neat. But, it's very um, quiet. It's pretty yeah. common around here to see that even in the summer. That's true. People yeah. running their dogs. And they and probably, he probably had a lot of water in the back of his rig, too. Yeah, to stop really and water, water Yeah, Or you yeah. run them into a creek. You are doing so good. Yeah, he is doing, doing really, I'm really good, And looking Stellar. at the camera now and then, um, how do they, if they run into wildlife, how do they react? Like, well, they're pretty, like, moose is most common, right? So, moose, they say moose are the most dangerous, yeah. whoever they are. <laughs> yeah. But um, it's because they can kick in all directions, and they're very protective of their babies <laughs> and they're young. So, it's all about the leaders. So, yeah. It really is. If those leaders are just so hard driven and hard headed driven, they'll run right past any distraction. Really so when, when you say leader, you're talking about lead dog, right? a lead dog. Yeah. Excuse me. Yeah. Um, yeah. The hardest thing to run by is a loose dog. So if you have a loose dog um, out on a trail or a park or, or on the river or something, it's really hard to run past that loose dog, especially if that loose dog is aggressive. <laughs> and, but so, and squirrels are hard too. <laughs> I can feel the heat coming off. You're letting the heat out through your mouth, like you yeah. were saying. And this is the only way of cooling. And that's why you see dogs with their tongue out. That's literally letting their heat out. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah. They can't now, sweat. They can't Now, have heat. you encountered a bear when you've been out with your team? No, I haven't. I've heard some bear stories, but I've never seen or yeah. bear tracks or a yeah. bear. I've seen wolf tracks very close, and I've heard wolves when I camp with my dogs. But I don't think I worry about those animals at all. It's just the, when there's a moose in the trail, it's when you really have to be cautious. The most. A female with with a young, with a calf yeah. lookout. Then, right. right. If it's a lone moose, usually they say, oh, wow, there's mm -hmm. 10, 12 wolves coming at me, and they get out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, they, don't, they don't really know the species difference. Yeah. Uh, they're just like wolves are on a pack. They just yeah. happen to be tied to something. Because they really become a... <laughs> get a pack mentality when they see an animal <laughs> on the trail they really wow on it. guys i hope you are enjoying this this is so cool should Let's we talk about the genetics yes please do so every dog that you'll meet here today if i bring in more or the two that you've already met are called or considered alaskan huskies and they're basically mutts like me <laughs> they're a bunch of mutts um thank you but the dna with these sled dogs are really neat because if anybody knows what a Siberian is, Siberian dog or uh -huh. a Malamute, have you ever heard of that term? <laughs> Malamute. Those are purebred dogs. They're AKC registered. They're paper. They have they have papers that they're purebreds. So think of those dogs if you know what those are. If you want to ask, if they know what those are. A Siberian or a Malamute. What do you do? You guys know what that is? Yeah, of course. Um, you had a Siberian. Okay. Yeah. Totally. So picture a Siberian dog, like that movie Eight Below Zero, those kind of dogs, purebred dogs. Um, and they, throughout the centuries, they bred any kind of working group into those kind of dogs. So think of a working group of dogs. You can come up with hounds, hunting dogs, bird dogs, pointers, Irish setters. They tried anything that works into the Malamute or the Siberian or the Northern Eskimo type dogs and Greenland Huskies. They tried everything, they even tried wolf, greyhounds, everything. And throughout the centuries, they got Alaskan Huskies. So they're a bunch of mutts with a bunch of DNA in there. So now people breed for certain attributes. Um, usually the first thing people breed, breed for is something called confirmation. And I can show you that with Stellar. And all confirmation is if he's okay with that.
yeah. is um, body type. Okay. So when Malamutes run, they have a very square back and they, their backbones, their, you know, their withers shoot up through their backbones. So they're really clunky when they run. But these dogs are perfectly inagulated where they, when they run. I don't know if I can show you his, his confirmation here, but this is the back of him. And you can see how his backbone is sloped right here. That slope. Wow. See that slope croup? It's called a croup. Wow. And it's where the tailbone meets the backbone. And that's actually, believe it or not, number one in breeding is confirmation body type. And the reason wow. why is because they won't get injured because they're perfectly built for running and pulling hard. And they won't get back injuries. And I'm amazed what they can pull. It just blows my mind how strong they are. They say each dog can pull about 300 pounds of weight. So every time you add another dog to the gang line, you add 300 pounds of pulling power to the sled or the, or the weight. So if you're running eight dogs, you know, it's like, and how often do you run like 10 dogs? It's, I run it's, 10 almost every every. So tour. you're talking yeah. pulling 3,000 pounds. They really can. They can pull a lot of weight. So that's, <laughs> that's like pulling. Weight. Nowhere near that size, huh? So, wow. but once you get going, it's all about momentum. Mm. They did a study in Iditarod, which is a thousand mile race here, all in Alaska. It starts in, um, people probably know what that is, but it starts in Anchorage, goes to Nome. And they, they studied Martin Boozer's dog team, and he's a four time champion with 16 sled dogs on a straight path, pulling all the harnesses tight and the tug lines tight. And they said it was a five pound pull on a parka for momentum. On their tug lines because of momentum so they really become a team out there it's really amazing what they can do it's really incredible and i always thought that it would take them a while to get that momentum going they shoot out of the gate yeah like like quarter horses they they, really they bust out of the gate yeah like almost to full speed don't they i mean it's absolutely amazing um and when you're in it you i mean you can get whiplash <laughs> when they take off they just go they're strong Bam. It's they are like little rockets. So I'm going to do a commercial because real quick, I've got these uh, from this company is called uh, Vermont Meats, and this is going to be a sponsor today. We're going to give these away, and I'm going to have you test them because you're a chef. And so these are uh, Vermont Meats. This is barbecue. So I already cut some. If you want to grab some some of that, you want to grab a piece. Does it have what? Pork in it. I don't know. Are you staying away from pork? Well, I don't eat pork, but I'll do it for you. You'll do it for me. Try yeah, a little. Tell your uh, oh, do you want to try some? Oh, he definitely wants Should some. I? Okay, here we go. You want to try that? What do you think? He's licking it like crazy. Mm -hmm. Here, I'll let you pull your own. Okay, thank I'm, you. Here, right here, buddy. He's it. I guess so, this is the only time you don't wash your hands when you... When you touch food, you can just yeah, it. we're just going for it. So you like licking it, but you're not sure if you want to really chew on this thing. It's pretty spicy. Mm. What do you think? It's too spicy for him. Is it too spicy for you? Okay, I'm gonna save it over here in case one of your partners, you know, wants me to try. But you licked it good. That was fun. And then we have right here, which is um, cracked pepper. I know you don't want that. You don't want cracked pepper. This is like really potent. Okay. It's really good stuff. That's good. Thank you. And then right here is, uh, oh, what is that called? Ancho. Ancho pepper. It's an ancho chili. It's an ancho chili. Do you cook with that? Oh, yes, absolutely. Oh, A wow. Lot of times. Seriously. Dry pastilla chilies. Okay, I'm going to try this. Clarence, make yourself at home over here. <laughs> you want to try some, Keely? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Oh, this is pretty good. You want to try that? Okay. Well, Keely, you want to go first? Um, you want the bigger piece? Mm -hmm. Or. And then this is the original. I guess we get to eat. Oh, that's fine. And they also sent me this spicy Italian. Oh, you're, you're liking that, huh? You like the spicy Italian? And so we're going to actually spin the wheel here and give some of this away. So why not? So let's just go ahead and give some away before I forget. All right. Whoa, look at that. $60 value. Mm. Look how happy Stellar is. We got two minutes to get in there. We got five people entered. You guys, this is really good sausage. Vermont meats out of Vermont. Mm. It's good. Mm. Really Isn't that good? good? Mm -hmm. It's really good. Thank you. Um, I can see cutting that really small and putting it in with scrambled eggs. Mm -hmm. Sure. Mm. What do you think? Really? 
We'll have to bring you on just for a cooking broadcast sometime. Yeah. And we'll talk that. recipes. That, that Don't get me started. Good. Let's do that. Mm. <laughs> One minute, guys. Go ahead and get in there. We have seven people already. TJ, you've got to win. Come on. I love y'all, but I'm rooting for TJ. <laughs> All right. <laughs> TJ, you got to win. <laughs> <laughs> Mama K will probably win again, he said. <laughs> yeah, Mama K, if you win again, you might want to hide. You might want to, like, change addresses. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> you don't do spicy, she said. Okay, good. <laughs> I don't know what's good. People are going to think that you're in cahoots with us or something. This is not rigged. I have no control over the gravy.live spinning wheel. I don't know whose face is going to go in it, and I don't. I have no way. I'll keep my hands up. I have no way of stopping it. Oh, you! But I'm. I'm hoping. Yeah. I'm really hoping for you, buddy. Come on, TJ's got to win. Yeah, you are just being a real, real, being real friendly really, love really machine good. here, huh? Yeah, not bad for for running out and you're doing good. Even though you're warm, you're just you're going. You know, I kind of like this uh, VIP treatment. Yeah. Coming in the house and being hanging out with the humans. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is great. Look at those eyes, guys. Are, is, is that just amazing? Just look at the eyes. Two seconds. One second. We have eight people entered. Let's spin the wheel. Look at this. Isn't this fun? Let's do it. Look, TJ's in there. I wish you could have you know, joined twice, buddy. <laughs> I'm rooting for you. We're going to make a winner out of you. I'm telling you. <laughs> Oh, oh, no, you're kidding. What? 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 <laughs> oh, my goodness. Ashley from Tennessee. <laughs> hey, Ashley. <laughs> Ashley from Tennessee is going to get some Vermont meats. Hey, and there she is. Woo! Look, we're bringing her in. Yay! Hi, Ashley. Awesome. How you doing? Is this crazy? You're right here with the dogs. You're here with a dog yeah. musher. Got mama bear in the screen. Oh, hey, Jay. are you? Hey, Ashley, how are you? <laughs> nice to see you. Are you enjoying this broadcast? Of course. <laughs> Is this amazing? Whoops, we just lost you. I don't know what happened, Aww. but but that's okay. I, I think it was a connection issue. Ashley, it was so good to see you. Yeah, and I I've, I've forgotten this dog's name already. I'm sorry. This is stellar. This is stellar. How can we forget? Yeah. This is stellar, guys. And stellar, you've got the stellarest eyes. You've got a stellar smile. He's doing really good. And dude, you just how old are you again, stellar? You're about three, he is a three year old. Three year old. Yeah. So he's still got a lot of. I mean, he's Bigger. just working his way into full adulthood and and finding out who he is here as a dog. Huh? as a dog team and part of the team and does he ever lead or or is he um no i've never had him in never lead. had him in the lead not every dog wants to be a leader not everybody it's a special head. sometimes they just want to <laughs> follow right you want some that want to follow though yeah huh? for sure wow so being a leader is just as much of a mental thing as it is physical up there wow they're thinking about he is you know lining out they're thinking about directions Thinking about how far we're going, if we're going camping, who's in the team, where we're we going. Guys, I hope you're taking good screenshots and you're going to send the tweet them to me or send them somewhere. This is just so much fun. And be sure and tag um, gravy.live, whether you're on Instagram or Twitter or where, to be sure and tag them. And at Lexi will appreciate that. Should we show and, how to um, dress people? Yes, let's show how you dress people. Do you want to dress somebody up? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, uh, Keely. Keely would fit in most of my clothes. Think, Where's Keely? Um, Let's go, Keely. All right, Keely's going to be our Cody model here? for today. Who? Cody. No, he's actually oh. in Missouri right oh, okay. now. Okay. Okay, Stella, you're on your own for a second. Okay, time. you're. We're Stella's going to have a seat. Stella's going. You know what? You made a house dog out of me, and I'm really enjoying it. Or I. Could, you want me to? You want me to hold? Or I could bring in another dog. But he's doing sure. pretty good, I guess. He's yeah. doing really good. Do he's think? doing really good. It's up to you Stella, though. If you want to. If you want to bring another one, you certainly can. However, you want to do I this. Feel bad if they peed on your couch. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I guess we can do something like Keely's coming over for a tour. And yeah. Yeah. And let's do that appropriately. And I okay. I tell people get his dress as much as you can, and I'll fix it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because, okay. Because it's really cold, and I just want you to be warm. So. Okay. So let's see what we got here. Okay. Come here. Okay. Stellar. Come here, Stellar. 
So, Stellar, come over here. <laughs> Stellar, come over here. No, 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 no. Come over here. No, no. Let's not pee on the sofa. Come here. You want to go outside? When he starts, when they start sniffing around, that means yeah, that they probably need. Let's go outside then. Should I bring him out? Yeah, I think I so. Bring in a female. Sure. Okay. <laughs> Females coming in. Apparently, they're a little better uh, with house training, y'all. Something to learn. Okay. All right. Okay, that's just good to know. I'm so I'm. You ladies are better trained than us guys when it comes to indoors. <laughs> Apparently, us guys just pee on anything when we just get in the mood to do it. <laughs> Marking your territory. <laughs> yeah, maybe it has something to do with that. All right, so you're going to try on some some uh, outdoor wear. Is this crazy? We're actually in our house, guys. If if this is your first time in. Uh, but I don't think it is. Most of you, I'm looking, and it looks like you've been here before. And um, Connie, thanks for being in here. And uh, Miss D, this is your number eight. You've been to every show. That's fantastic. Oh, wow. And I don't know how Mama K's only, you've been to four shows, and you've already won like three times. <laughs> like, I don't know. That's a racket. That's like something you could get kicked out of a casino with them kind of odds. <laughs> That's that's pretty good. They're, they're going to be watching you through the one-way glass, you know? <laughs> My loser game is epic. TJ's like, TJ, you're going to win someday. I just know it. Okay? Don't, you know? Okay. Who do we got here? So this is Zamara. 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 Oh, my goodness. So they're getting some clothes ready. And uh, Zamara is going through the She's house. Zamara, <laughs> mirror. <laughs> so th there's a reason why we have that fleece in the hood. Yeah, it's okay. And then now, just remember, it's 40 below out, and we're going out to run dogs. Good girl, Zamara. <laughs> and uh, this is a company called Mushing Midnight Mushing, and they're really good for the gear. So go ahead and put that on. Okay. <laughs> if you want me to end this, I can do it. I don't. I don't want to waste your time. Ashley says she's good, all good, good now. I hear you and see you. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, guys. Uh, we just had to refresh our internet connection with the dogs. This is a lot of fun. Okay, we'll we'll catch you guys later. Bye bye.